Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today is my April release video of Happy Clouding and it's kind of bittersweet because it's an exciting one for me and I'll show you why soon but it's also kind of sad because it's probably the last one that's going to be of this size at least for the foreseeable future just because my maternity leave is about to finish up very soon and I'll be going back to work and that just means that I'll have a lot less time to work on my stick shop. I guess not a lot less but at least a decent amount because right now I do a lot of my sticker work in the evening which I'll still have but then I use the time when my baby naps during the day to also work on it which I won't have because I'll be at work during that time so I'm kind of preparing myself knowing that the size of the releases are likely to be small I'm going to try and keep up with the consistency though so the number the frequency should still be the same hopefully fingers crossed but we will see anyways let's get right into the release so in week one I release this coffee sticker kit so this is actually more what you probably want to see this is the style this was a watercolor kit that Violet had put together and then I've just kitted it out instead so you've got your bottom strip vertical well full boxes um, you've got some check boxes glitter strips these quarter boxes and half boxes labels activity boxes some scripts art icons and then your date covers weekend banner etc I'm still contemplating potentially reformatting these kits again I don't know I've, I'm not sure if many people use the glitter headers so I'm wondering whether I should take them up but for now I think I'm gonna leave them as is because I quite like this particular setting right now and of course there's the Hobonichi Weeks version we've got one sheet and then this is like an extra add-on if you want additional boxes but I actually find that this is more than enough personally for me um, and yeah I really like these colors I Honestly, I was not sure whether to add the blue. I was very unsure because I kind of just love this like coffee brown colors. Like if you just take out the blue, I like these colors together. They actually look really nice. However, in the clip art that Violet provided, there were some like pops of blue. So I kind of thought it just made sense. And now when it comes together, I quite like it. So that was week one. And then the next week, I release some script stickers so you guys know that usually when I do script stickers I'll release five different scripts at once that's the part that's definitely slowing down I think I'm only gonna release one maybe two each time I do a script release sticker one I do have quite a few in the shop now that covers the topics that I personally use and I um, I'm happy to expand on that if people request but for now I think I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit so this week well, this week yeah I had meetings so you got a small version and a larger version I love the larger version I don't not the hugest fan of the small ones because I don't know like I don't tend to um, use these in my, I use these in my Hobonichi weeks but I don't tend to use these much but I love using these ones a lot more so that's just my personal preference but there's plenty of people who prefer the small one as well so that was week two and then the third week I released a bunch of really random icons so this is actually quite a lot in terms of in the future I don't intend to release this many icons at once but it just kind of worked out so I have a really beautiful customer who had requested sent me a few requests in and so I wanted to complete all her requests and I thought whilst I was at it I'll add a couple more because I could use them as well so there is a general theme. You'll see that there, these two, there's no theme. This is like a reading, a book, planner, whatever you want to call it. And this is bed, so it can wrap time, sleep time, bedtime, making your bed, whatever. So these two are kind of like individual icons and they'll have their own individual listing. I might add it to the main icon listing as well. I'm not quite sure. But then the next one, is she requested... Um, uh, like a mug and water bottle and I was like well I could really use some more drink related icons because I don't have any right now so I decided to go ahead and so I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit and so we've got like this water bottle and then we've got this like coffee cup or tea cup or whatever you want to call it and then I have like a mug version which I really love that there's like two versions I don't know I feel like there's so many different shapes and sizes of cups that I could see myself releasing more in the future but I think these two will do for now then we have a bubble tea or boba tea cup. I love myself bubble tea, even though I don't drink it very much anymore because of the sugar levels, but still love it. Um, we have a little can. I do drink quite a lot of sugar-free soda. I know that's not the best for you, but 
it is probably the one vice that I got out of pregnancy because it was something I could drink with my gestational diabetes that was sweet without the sugar. So I have that. And then the last one is this coffee cup, um, like takeaway cup. So it could be hot chocolate, it could be anything really. So this is gonna sit under a listing for drinks specifically. Um, and that was the third week. Okay, and then the last week, this is the one that I'm really excited for. And I'm actually kind of nervous because uh, it's kind of like a personal uh, new journey that I'm taking. And um, well, I'll just show you guys. So this is what I released in the fourth week and it's uh, pancakes. So it's supposed to be like breakfast pancakes. And I'm nervous because I drew this myself, which is not something I often do for my shop. I'm usually looking at other people to help draw stuff for me like violet etc so um but i've been like dreaming of drawing my own stuff for like the longest time but i'm a really crap artist like really really bad like a lot of the like these kits that you see here a lot of them i have drawn like an initial sketch and they're really bad and then i send them to violet so she knows what to draw but honestly <laughs> It's so embarrassing what the initial sketch looks like because even I sometimes don't know what I'm drawing. But I've been practicing and I've been trying really hard and I would like to release more like hand-drawn, self-drawn stuff because I have a lot of ideas and I feel like it would be really difficult for me to always say rely on Violet or somebody I know to help draw out all my ideas and I think it's just easier if I can start learning how to draw. So this is my very first attempt. Um, I know it looks kind of funny and I think it's going to be kind of like an evolutionary thing. I'm going to release the things I draw because I want to use this in my Hobonichi cousin to mark down breakfasts. I don't have enough breakfast stickers and well I do but they're always really large like these are quite large they're like 1.2 by 1.4 centimeters and I was looking for like really tiny stickers and the ones that I used to use had run out and they don't make them anymore so I thought you know what I'm just gonna this is the best incentive to actually start making your own stickers so this is my first attempt um depending on how fast I am because they're kind of like time consuming but also easier to do if that makes sense like the sticker sheet creation process is much easier for this because it's my own art but the creation of the art is more time consuming, though it's something I can do on the go because I just use my iPad for that. So I could probably do it during my lunch breaks at work um, and when I'm out, things like that. So I'm not quite sure how frequently I'm gonna upload them or create them, but it's something I'd like to start introducing more and more based on the things that I use and I'm happy to take requests as well. I have some really cute ideas in the future that I'd love to start trying that I've wanted to do for the last four, three years that I, I'm not quite at the skill level yet to draw them, but I feel like this is the starting point and hopefully over time my style and my skill will evolve and if I want to replace, the, like these could be like older stickers and replace them with something that looks a little nicer, that's kind of the intention. So anyways, you will start to see more of these type of stickers, like hand-drawn stickers, just because that's the stuff that I want to start using more. And uh, yeah, that was everything in April. A really exciting month, lots of new releases. Um, all of these will be linked down below if you want to check them out. Um, or you can check out um, my, I, have, I guess I have two Instagrams. <laughs> I have a, a Fable in Fashion. No, I have a Beautiful Fable, which is kind of like my general planner account. And then I have Happy Cloud Inc. on Instagram, which is just focused really on the shop. Um, and yeah, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet. Mm -hmm.